out of space, so we'll do this again, part two. Um, <clears throat> okay, let's go into what happened with the Divine Feminine that was in there. If you'll watch, and uh, again, guys, if you get caught up in blaming anybody that was on that site, you've missed the plot big time. Because in order to change anything, we have to be very honest with where we are. I mess up every day, all day. That's why I tweak. And I tell you I tweak all the time. Well, unless you're doing it wrong, there's no need to tweak, right? So I do it wrong all the time. But I am honest about what I'm doing and what I'm feeling at all times. I admit whenever I've got it off. And I get better and better and better at it. But you have to admit that you're doing it wrong in order to get it right. It's that simple. So there is no harm. There is no foul in any way that anybody reacted on this call. It's a learning experience. And these new next level videos will talk about that stuff. It's not an attack because now we know that it's just an experience. There is no good and bad. We came to do a deal, do a job. And most of us that are listening to me are trying to get to 5D. We look at these things objectively and how they were created. All of it was created to get humanity into the lowest vibrations possible. That's why all of it was created. But now we're coming out of it. But in order to come out of it, you can't have judgment and you've got to be able to look at you and those around you objectively in order to get out of it. So don't attack these people, any of them. And I'm not attacking any of them. Okay, I am showing you vibratorily how this is the norm around us and how it needs to be changed or at least needs to be changed if you wish to go to 5D. How I will be changing it and this will not be the way it works. So from a divine feminine po point, frequently in that group of women, there was a kind of, uh, 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 well, it's no big deal or lowering of the eyes and looking away, which is very common for women to do whenever they're attacked or or their feelings are being disregarded. Okay? Um, again, with, with the Divine Masculine side, I want to go back to that for just a second. Um, with Jeremy, a Divine Masculine will always seek the feminine's response. They will, they will guide what they do off of what the feminine side needs, as will the divine feminine. That's that's that putting the two together towards dual. I mean, let out of duality into unity consciousness. So there's a consideration of what the other side is going through. Now there was a tad bit of divine masculine on that call when G Man made a joke about dating a 24 year old, trying to bring levity into the situation because it was very intense. That is very divine masculine. That, what he did right there, okay? So that you can read this, not judging good people, bad people, no, 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 or situations even, but to feel the energy of how we can maneuver out of this situation. Now, back to Divine Feminine. Very, very frequently, women, when being faced with a the patriarchal or shadow version of masculine, will back down, move away, lower their eyes, become submissive. Uh, there was some some head nodding uh, by some of the women, but no one besides me, and I just did that once, and it really was on the daddy issue because, as you know, my history, so I'm a little uh, a little jumpy about that particular issue that I tweak and deal with every day because there still pops up judgment all the time with me because of my history. So I have to tweak and tweak and tweak. So... But none of the women stopped Jeremy and said, wait a minute, this has happened to me. This is a real problem for me uh, to, to basically let him know that he needed to give this more credence, step into the oneness. And so what we want to do is we want to show men, men out there, that these things are happening to women all the time and that it is an issue. It's a negative thing. It's a little tiny drain on us all the time, keeping women in like, worry and fear, which we're trying to get rid of those vibrations, remember? So men need to be able to see that that's happening so they can help rectify that problem from the masculine side and support women in not feeling afraid, letting them know that there is divine masculine standing next to them and protecting them at all times. That 
men need to stand up to groups of men that are saying derogatory things or whistling at a woman. And, and again, I don't know why I need to explain that if a woman walks by and she's catcalled or if she's growled at, that this creates fear and trepidation, that somehow society has turned that into a, a compliment. Um, if you don't, if you think that's a compliment, either you're male or female, you think that's a compliment, then you probably need to go online and look up the definition of compliment because that is not a compliment at all. It is a form of, of uh, making a woman feel like she's just an object and or scaring her or both. So this is not a compliment. And if that's what you think it is, that's probably why you're not doing really well with women. So, uh, yeah. So back to the divine feminine. So what was done was your typical don't say anything, turn away from it, nod in agreement, but be very quiet about it. Because what happens if you do much louder than that, you get called very strong names, bitch, feminazi, feminism, fem, feminist with a growl, uh, if you stand up for yourself. But as females, we must stand into in our own, our own skins and we must take our power back. Okay? There is nothing wrong with demanding to be treated right and fairly. If a guy, like if a, gra a man will grab a woman's arm to pull her back or, or to get her attention. If a guy did that to a guy, immediately the guy would turn around and slug him in the face. Uh, and that respect should be given to women as well. If a man even, if a man and a man that don't know each other uh, says anything just the least bit derogatory, it will cause a fight. But, so there needs to not be any kind of sound or derogatory disrespect to a woman for the same reason. And women, you need to stand up for yourself and say, no, turn around and face them. Now, if you, the younger generation is already doing this. Stephanie's generation, yeah, they don't put up with that stuff. So the, what I call random generation, they are fixing it. But we still have to deal with the older men for those of us that want to go to 5D that are older. Because eventually, of course, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 year old men will die uh, for those that are on the planet as it goes slower. And they'll just leave. And the younger generation are already not doing a lot of those things because simply the women are standing up and going, I will have nothing to do with you. And guys like to um, have relations with women. So they're learning that they cannot treat women like that and get a date. Okay. Because the younger women don't want to put up with it. Now, the old, older men have been doing this for a long time. They almost think that they don't do it. And it's not them. It's some other guy not understanding that simply staring at a woman as she walks by, there is an energetic exchange in that moment and she can feel it. Even if she doesn't know it consciously, she feels that stare and it is a form of energy vampirism. When you watch a woman with intent walking by, or women, if you do it to men, then what you've done is you've locked on on their energy and you're pulling it away to feed yourself just exactly the same as the Illuminati and that all of them do. You're doing it too. So we all need to stop doing that. Okay. Now I realize that these videos are really intense. I hope that you can be honest with yourselves about how you, whether you're male or female, how you respond to these things. Uh, maybe you'll go back and listen to the list that Jeremy went through very, very fast and uh it listened to them a little bit better certainly uh when i get home stephanie and i will be doing probably a very long video or a series of videos regarding these she feels very strongly about how destructive the divine masculine is on this planet and she's very very angry at the divine feminine for not standing up and uh, doing something about it as a on a day-to-day -day basis and it is so intricate it is so everywhere. And if you don't think it is, well, then just wait for the uh, videos with Stephanie and we will show it to you. Now, whether or not that goes up on YouTube or goes up on the website, I'll make that decision after I see how it turns out because uh, Stephanie is very blunt and she's very opinionated and she really does not care what anybody thinks about what she says. She speaks from a very divine, feminine, powerful place of being in her now with her 
um, experience. And it's not, it's not a cut. These videos are not a cut to either side. It's an, it's a illumination for you guys on how to visualize that these are all undivine masculine and feminine energies and we need to correct them to get to 5D. The grid is already in place, guys. All you got to do is go through the actions. But there's so many of them and they're so subtle and they've been so accepted by society and those around that it's going to take some work. And that's one of the reasons why I asked Jeremy to do the Divine Masculine because the Undivine Masculine cannot hear a female's voice. It almost is a, is a tone that they will not hear the words that are coming out of my mouth. So I very much like a male's voice to show this is Undivine, this is Divine, and this is how you do it differently, and this is why. And that's why I really am thankful to Jeremy for uh, attempting to do this because uh, there's a lot of, a uh, lot of, you know, what most people would think of. It's hard to look at yourself and see that you have done things that were not what you thought was a good person. Now, from my perspective, there is no such thing as good or bad. And it's just a matter of correcting vibrations. And I hope that all of you at this point are at that level, that you can look at this situation, not from good or bad or condemnation in any way, shape or form, but rather, oh, I see this is what's on the planet. We want the planet to go here. How can we fix this in our day to day lives? How can we teach our 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 kids to do it differently or probably even watch them because they're already doing it better? And how can I interact with the people at work and my friends in a way to encourage them to react in a more divine manner, no matter what it is. Now, this is when we're separate. It gets to a whole new level, whole new different videos when we're talking about the divine masculine and feminine inside yourself. And that has to be balanced and unified as well to get to 5D. And this is just one little tiny part of the intricacies that people will have to start figuring out in order to get to the fifth dimension, which is why I say you really need to be able to already do these basics of non-judgment, no such thing as good and bad. It's just a game. You're creator God. Because without that, those things that I just said, going to this next level, you're, if you don't do those things, you're immediately going to go, I don't do that. Or that doesn't happen. That defensiveness, anger, bullying, I'm right thing is all, you're not doing the, the non-judgment, I'm a creator God, understanding that this was done for a reason to get to 3D, which is why I'm very slowing down on the videos because I'm at the place now where I'm ready to do these next level videos, but I am not interested in hearing a whole bunch of comments dealing with good, bad judgment um, from a perspective of not being creator God. So if you've got it in your life, remember all of us are creating it. You're creating it in your life. I'm creating it in my life. We're co-creating this undivine masculine and feminine. Now, I'm going to create it. I'm going to change it. If you would like to be on a planet where there's divine masculine and divine feminine, then you're going to have to change it. You're going to have to see that those things are not what you want as you go to 5D. And the only way you can say they're not what you want is to identify them in the first place. But understand you created all of it. So if you see it, just like Stephanie and me, we're looking around seeing it, then it needs to be tweaked and corrected for us to get to 5D. So it's not a matter of Jeremy or any of the women doing anything wrong. They are simply reacting to the vibration that is the norm in this collective consciousness. So the key here is to take that as a mirror effect of where we are and tweak it to get more and more divine so we can go to unity consciousness so we can go to 5d and eventually home okay all right well hopefully y'all won't lose your minds on this i hope i hope jeremy thank you so much for uh, and ladies thank you so much for uh allowing us to see that interaction so that i could use it to shed light for everyone else to use and tweak i do hope that you all do take the time to look at some of those things so that you can change them in your day-to-day -day life. Come with us. 
uh, to the new collective where the divine masculine and feminine is the norm rather than barely here. Okay? All right, guys. Uh, huge hugs. I love you so, so, so much. I really, really do. And I'll talk to you later. Bye now. It's getting so that I just have this long conversation as I get this button stopped, isn't it? Hehehehe. <laughs>